just in the right conditions and you're fully just deep, deep and dark and immersed into whatever it is that you're doing. And this is, this is where the focus is at. This is where the progress comes. This is where the growth and, and 10xing your business comes from when you're in this deep f- freak flow state. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we are talking about accessing your freak flow. We call it the freak flow. And I guess this guy over here has made it to another episode. I forgot he was even here. Tyson maybe put it here last episode. I guess it's sticking around for now. And if you notice, he even has two different color shoes, but not a disformed bicep like I have right now, but we're dealing with that. But you probably read, saw that in the last episode. Anyway, today we're talking about the freak flow. And I want to start off with a quote by Bruce Lee. And it's the extended version. You probably heard like pieces and parts of it, but I wanted to go to the longer version of it because it really fits into it. And I thought it was the perfect way to kickstart this this episode. So it's a, a quote by, by Bruce Lee. He says, be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the objects and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes a cup. If you put water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes a teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. And perfect way to talk about, like that is a summary of what the freak flow is all about. So you've probably heard about flow state before and, and, and people talk about getting into flow state. So what is the, we'll go into the gener- generic definitions of flow state and then kind of break some of them down and then kind of freakify it like we usually do. And I'm gonna give you some ways of getting into the freak flow state. What is our, we have a freak flow formula, the framework to get into it. And then also give you some examples of how we actually do that in our our everyday life. So flow state overall is just a, a mental state in which someone is just so focused, like laser beam focused on a single, laser beam focused on a single task. So multi People who who say they are good at multi whatever multitasking, or if they put that on an application, I know that is a distracted person who's not operating up to their highest potential. Because I want you laser beam focused on one single task or activity, where you're directing all of your attention towards that task, and you don't ex- experience any other distractions or thoughts and you pay no attention to the distractions and time just seems to pass and flow and fly by and flow by without notice. Doesn't just pass by, the time flows by, the work flows, the outcomes flow. And in in the the final byproduct of that is that the money starts to flow the more you can get into this freak flow state. So pay no attention to those distractions. That's what flow state makes you, this freak flow makes you disregard distractions. It's just a, a feeling where you're just in the right conditions and you're fully just deep, deep and dark and immersed into whatever it is that you're doing. And this is this is where the focus is at. This is where the progress comes. This is where the growth and and 10xing your business comes from when you're in this deep freak flow state. It's just so intense. At least that sense of like just heaven, ecstasy, sense of just pure clarity that you know exactly what you want, what your task is from one second to the next. And you get immediate feedback from that, from the flow. The flow keeps you flowing with just immediate feedback to keep you in that laser beam focused state where you don't get distracted. You get constant feedback to keep you bumpered and and locked in and locked on to the target. It's just a, a 
deep, dark, fluid connection between your mind, your body, your emotions, and the actual tasks and actions that you're freaking taking, where you're just so deep and darkly absorbed into to focusing on something that you have this high passion for, where it feels like time is just flowing and slowed, and it's like in the matrix, and you just see everything so clear and so vivid, it's just so sharp. This is what freak flow is, where everything is just in sync. Everything is firing on all cylinders. You're just getting so much shit done. You're getting more done in less time of, of, of much higher quality work. And you're getting more done in a short amount of time, more done in, a, in, in let's say, a half a day than you normally would get done in a week or more done in a, a day than you would get done in a, a freaking month sometimes. It's what, what's being in the zone is all about. Locked and loaded, on task, on target, unbreakable focus, unbreakable discipline, where you're just giving your fullest attention to an activity and just aggressively and intensely diving deep and dark into it with a singularity of focus, totally immersed in this thing. And I get that you get the point, you know what it is, but I want to just go real detailed on what this freak flow state, what it really feels like, because it's a, it's a, it's a, a feel, deeper than a feeling. It's a, it is a feeling, though. It's a, a mental state. It's an emotional state. It's almost something outside of yourself. You're just floating. You're up in the clouds. You're not even yourself anymore when you're in this state. I've looked at some work I've done and some writing I've done and some things I've created when I was in that freak flow state. And it's like you're, you're fucking high. You don't even remember writing the things you wrote or creating the things you created. And you go back and look at it like, who the fuck did this? This is like a masterpiece. This is like artwork. And... I'm going to give some examples of of what we've done when it comes to, what are some examples of that? Another quote, I don't know who said this one. I don't know if it was unknown or anonymous or whatever. It says, don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will. Then your life will flow well. I think it was a stoic quote, maybe Seneca, not really sure. But think about that. Don't, Don't look for shit to just happen uh, uh, the way you think it should or the way you want to. You got to go and flow with it. Sometimes get into that flow, into that rhythm. Get those beats down, ba bop ba bop ba bop where you're just on target. So I'm going to break down real quick the freak flow framework, the, the formula that we use to get into this freak flow state. And it's it's eight Ps. And I have a graphic. I don't have it here up for you. I'll put it in the in the show notes or something where it's a bunch of circles that are all combined and they all eight of these circles combine into this center little piece. And that center piece is the freak flow. And this is the the piece of where all these eight P's connect and intersect in that one middle section. It's the, the eight P's are purpose, passion, people, power, potential, proficiency, productivity, and then profit. Yes, the last one is profit. So imagine if you can, so let's break all those down real quick. And just real quick, we've done complete episodes on purpose and passion, on superpowers, the power of the superpowers, and we've done episodes on potential, we've done episodes on productivity, we've done episodes on profit. Literally all those Ps we've done separate episodes on, so make sure you're always going watching back at at the older episodes. It's just a Basically, it's like a, a free coaching program if you just watch all the episodes of the Steve Eckert Show. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on these. But imagine if you could do something. Let's break those down one by one. Follow the flow of those eight Ps. Imagine you, and that's why it ends with profit. Eighth is profit. It starts with purpose and it comes full circle and they all eight of the circles connect and intersect. But the, and the eighth one is, is profit. So imagine you could do something that is purpose, living according to your purpose, a higher calling, something outside, bigger and better and more important than just yourself, something with purpose. We're not going to go into examples that way again, but there's a whole entire episode on that. And it's something that you have a passion for, that you actually like doing, that you love doing. So it's something that is outside of yourself, bigger than yourself, that you like doing. And then people, it's with and for the people that are important to you in your life. And then the power, using your superpowers, your gifts that you have, so you're using your strengths and not doing things that you don't like doing. So it's purposeful, it's passion with the people you want to do it with or for, using your power, your, your, your superpowers, potential, fulfilling your potential, not wasting any of your potential, which is causing you to be proficient so you're not wasting time or getting distracted or 
just wasting your life away, which is making you productive. So all this work and all this effort is productive. It's getting more done in less time. So you have more time to do the shit that you really want to be doing or the shit you like doing or more of this high powered freak flow activities. And when you turn all that into productivity, it becomes profit. So think about that purpose, passion, people, power, potential, proficiency, productivity, and profit is the byproduct of all those, those eight P's combined together. And that is what the framework and the formula for the freak flow is. And and freak flow is closely related to the ideal freak freedom lifestyle. Again, we've also had an entire episode of the Steve Eckert Show on your ideal freak freedom lifestyle. It's easy to be in flow when you're doing something that's in alignment with the ideal lifestyle you want to live. And the ideal lifestyle you want to live probably is connected to those eight Ps and hopefully is leading to profit. Imagine how you could do all that shit something with purpose and passion and all these things we're talking about, your strengths and and fulfilling your potential with the people that you want to and making money doing it, like sign me the fuck up. Like that's what we're talking about. That's when you push to the edge. The freak flow is pushing to the edge and a little bit further, a little bit beyond what your personal skills and personal strengths and abilities are capable of. That freak flow is pushing and pressuring the, the limits of your strengths and skills. It's balancing challenge with skill and, and pushing it right over the edge, just over the edge of your, your skill and challenging you just enough in your, your personal skills and strength and challenging you just enough to push and press you right off the edge, right before you fall off the edge. That is what living on the edge is. That's why it's a, such a high state, such a high emotion and a feeling. And that's when it's like you are operating at your optimal in your freak flow. There's a, I don't even know how to say the name, one of the Chinese philosophers or whatever, Lao Tzu or something like that. I don't even know how to say it. It says, those who flow as life flows knows they need no other force. Think about that. Those who flow as life flows know they need no other force. You're flowing. This is the freak flow. When you could flow with life and anything that happens, you can flow and maneuver yourself through this stuff. That is a superpower. And that is a life you don't need a vacation from. That is operating in freak flow in accordance with and alignment with your freak freedom lifestyle, lifestyle you want to have. This is where you're in that state, that high state of just embracing circumstances and events and and the outcomes as they happen in life without resistance because you are just able to deal with whatever the fuck comes your way because you're in that flow. You're almost always partially in a little bit of that freak flow state. Now, you can't be all the time. That's why we have a couple weeks ago, we had stupid time. We've had chill episodes on chill time and stupid time. You need that downtime and that recovery time and that regeneration time. But you're always in this little partial freak flow state because you're able to just maneuver and deal with and let you become bullshit bulletproof when you are operating this way according to this, this framework of the freak flow and those, those eight Ps. This is where you have that heavy sense of, of concentration, just being able to focus on the, the single task in front of you without getting distracted. And, and this leads to a higher output of higher quality work. Like this, this show right now, nothing else in the world is distracted. I'm, I'm locking in, locked and loaded on just this, just on my notes here, on you, on the camera, on making sure I could get the point across about freak flow so you can start implementing this in your life. And basically, it, it, we have less assholes in the world and less haters on the internet because they're all living according to this purpose and passion and powers in this freak flow with those eight Ps. And they have such a sense of clarity in the direction you're going in. And, and you really don't have obstacles. You lap, lack obstacles because you, you're not getting clouded. Your mind is so clear and so stress-free because you just know you're capable of maneuvering and flowing freak flowing around all the bullshit around you. So no matter what gets thrown your way, and and next week we're going to have an episode on how to actually prepare, how to be prepared is a whole episode just on preparation, on being ready for anything. That's going to be next week. And tell you what, it's a feeling. Freak flow state 
is a feeling. Yeah, it's a feeling of happiness, but it's just a feeling of, of, uh, of a co- accomplishment where you're in this deep freak flow state and it's, a, it's positive. It's a positive state. It's hard to be in a bad mood when you're in a freak flow state. It's also hard to be in a bad mood after that state because you have the outcomes that you created during that freak flow state. It's hard to be in a bad mood after it. And it's also hard to be in a bad mood during it, obviously. It's a, you, it's a kind of freedom and a kind of contentment and fulfillment and happiness that, I don't know why my clock paused here, my timer, kind of happiness that it, it's, it goes past just this temporary high. It carries over into all areas of your life because you know you start learning how to get into that state. So let's, let's talk about it. How do we get into that? How do we intentionally create this freak flow state? First, another quote that I know I don't know where it came from. It says, life is like a, a river. The way of life is to flow with the current. To turn against it takes effort, but the current will carry you if you let it. Float with joy and ease. That is what flowing with the shit that comes your way. You can't control the rest of the world. You only can control yourself, how you deal with shit, how you freak flow your way through the bullshit, the adversity. And we had an episode on adversity and how I tore my bicep a, a couple of weeks ago. The freak flow is what allows you to deal with adversity. The freak flow is what allows you not to procrastinate. The freak flow helps you make decisions because it's in alignment with those eight Ps. It's in alignment with your freak freedom lifestyle, the, the ideal lifestyle you want to live. So how do you achieve this flow state? First is you have clear goals and there's so much clarity on where and why, especially why. That's where that, that purpose comes in on those eight Ps. That means that you have an outcome. You know the outcomes you're looking for. You know the ideal lifestyle you want, you're looking for. And you attach a task to it. But you're, free, you're also getting free flow and making shit challenging. Creating, setting deadlines. Which makes it easy then to focus. Because you know, I have this clear goal with these clear deadlines. It's a hard one. So I know I need to be showing up as a, a, at my best and attack this shit because it's going to be challenging. It's pushing you to the edge, the limits of what you're capable of with your skills. And you know that this is the, what you need to do to get take things to the next level. You, you shut everything out. You get rid of what, remove all distractions. I have rituals. When I'm ready to go into to the freak flow state, there are rituals. I'm setting up my environment for success. I am setting boundaries. I am removing all distractions. And I know myself. I know what I need to do to get into that state. You need to know yourself what to do, what you need to do. And those are the initial stages of how to achieve or how to initiate the, the freak flow state. But how do you actually get into it even, even deeper? You balance challenge and skill like we mentioned before it can't just be something you're really good at or something that has a little bit of a challenge or too much of a challenge where it's just impossible you balance the challenge and the skills and you uh, again in accordance with those clear goals and and they're tied into your purpose and that higher calling and the meaning and the ideal lifestyle that you want to live those goals and reducing those distractions. Stop thinking you're going to multitask and do a bunch of things at once. That is not a, a skill that is not useful. And the other thing with freak flow is don't force it. If you try to force it and force yourself into a freak, a flow state, it's not going to happen. You're going to be stressed. You're not going to get the outcomes you're looking for. You're, you're, it's too artificial. So you have to do all these other steps to make it happen. And don't try to force it. Don't try to anticipate too much. Like, don't expect the the, the you're gonna solve world peace or make a million dollars in 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 one session of being in the in the the freak flow state. Like, just make it natural. Yeah, you're setting up the conditions for success, but don't freaking force it. Other ways to kind of initiate it is to live just live in general with curiosity, live with freedom. And again, the clarity of your mission, your vision, your values, your goals, set deadlines, put the pressure on yourself, do some risky shit, do some scary stuff, some stuff that you fear, things that maybe you fear of the pain of it or the loss of it or the failure of it. Like these things will initiate the freak flow because they're pushing you to the edge as a man of what you're capable of. Again, balancing that, that skill with challenge, doing new shit. 
new shit that you're not good at or new shit that, that lights you the fuck up or excites you or doing hard shit, complex shit, hard things, tough challenges, unpredictable things, chaotic things, challenging things, or not just curiosity, but also creativity. All these are things, and so I'm just throwing a whole bunch of them out there so you could see what works for you. What are some ideas that are going to help you trigger your freak flow state? And so some examples, a main example of freak flow for us here is we have a thing called freak night, and that's one night a month where we pretty much stay up almost the entire night till I don't even know, four or five in the morning, where we pick our main one, two, three major projects or tasks that we're working on. And we plan it ahead of time and schedule out what we're going to work on on freak night. And we sit there, lock ourselves here in the, in the, the war room here. This is the, the kill room, the war room. And we go to work. And it's the whole family usually. And then me and Tyson last a little longer than the rest of them. But we are working on a single task for two to three hours, just straight through. And every hour we'll get up and go get a sip of water, just keep the blood flowing or take like a minute or two in between after each hour. But right back in, it's about a two to three hour freak freak flow time block, kill, kill time, where we are just attacking these projects, getting things done. And sometimes we're working on our own projects that we have to do by ourselves, but we're in the same room and kind of feeding off the energy of each other, t- talking here and there and connecting and helping each other out. And then sometimes we're doing collaborative efforts and projects that we do. And it's, it's, there's rituals to that. We plan ahead exactly what we're going to be working on on Freak Night. And then we take a break. We know there's a reward to that. So it's about a two, three hour time block. Then we take about an hour, hour and a half of a break where we go play some video games, hang out, eat, eat, some, eat a snack or get some fruits or something, just chill. And then the next block, the next round, another round of that freak flow kill time. And we rotate that two or three rounds of that. And it, by, before you know it, you've accomplished so much shit. You've created so many products we've created. And we're going to go into what are some of the outcomes that we've gotten done in that, in that time. But where, where else can you, what are some other, some other examples or situations or environments to get into freak flow for me? And it might be the same for you is on a plane. Listen, you're stuck in this metal tube, 30 something thousand feet up in the air, sometimes three, four, five, six, who knows how many hours next to someone that you don't know that, yeah, I try to, you you should try to maybe talk to that person a little bit just to, you don't know who you're sitting next to. Yeah. You should see how that goes, but usually it's, it's some unhealthy freaking person next to either sleeping, drinking alcohol, snoring, or I was with some 40 something old dude that played this like cherry game, bunch of fruit games or fruit I don't even know, a fruit smashing hero or something on his phone for like five hours straight and thinking like, yeah, I understand you want to chill a little bit, but you know how much you could get done on this freaking plane ride? I schedule, but when I know I'm traveling on a plane, I schedule what work I'm going to do on the plane. And I prepare all the files. We actually did an episode on travel. Go check that out. But I'm using that plane ride to get so much deep work done, kill time. I'm putting these same noise canceling headphones on. If there's no conversations that are around that are, are worthwhile, I'm going deep into the work, especially if I'm alone. Now, if I'm with the family, I'll go into deep work for a little while. I'll take them off and we'll chill for a while, much like freak night. We'll go do rounds of that. And they say, all right, I'm going back in, going back into the freaking bat cave. I'm putting the headphones on and I am going to grind. I'm going to have you on my, whether it's laptop or writing or whatever it is, creating sales funnels or autoresponder emails, doing writing, creative work, whatever the, the, the task is. A plane is a perfect place. Another one for me is a hotel. Yeah, you travel around and you want to check out, like if it's a work trip, you want to check out, you still want to experience the environment, the area you're in maybe and whatever, do your your little boring sightseeing or whatever, or maybe go to an event or whatever it is. But in a hotel, then, then it comes down to you're just alone for hours at a time sometimes. There's plenty of downtime a lot of times when you're traveling, especially on business trips, maybe the day before an event, the day after an event, whatever it is. And I use that time in the hotel the same way as the plane. Like I know exactly what I'm working on that trip and I am going deep and dark and I'm going to create some shit. And it's using all those same kind of keywords we used before about deadlines and pressure and clarity of mission, vision, values and goals, curiosity, complexity, creativity. I'm diving into all those things on freak night, on the plane, in a hotel. And then you should also, even just at home, 
schedule some alone time. There's times you need to work on your own. Like maybe the entire family is going somewhere and you're going to sit back because you always like, we always do stuff together as a family all the time. They went somewhere recently. I don't remember. Maybe it was a, a birthday party or a, I don't remember what it was. And I was like, this is, this is my chance to really go into the zone and get some freak flow work done. And I got so much shit done because sometimes we work better together with other people. You do need that alone time because your brain works different. It's a different dynamic when you're doing it. So set schedule some alone time so you can get to that freak flow where you set, and it might even be when everyone else is home, but you're setting the boundaries. I have a sign on my door, like when it's time, do not disturb. When it's time to get to that flow. And some of the outcomes of, of the freak flow state have been the biggest one that recently, the biggest one ever was the creation of the IFFF, the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula. It's the last workout program you ever need. Tyson and I created that on freak nights. We created that on an airplane and in a hotel, like literally was done on a trip and started on an airplane because we're locked on this tube. Yeah, we played some games together and, and did some other fun stuff and hang out, but we had layovers and all this other stuff. So it happened in the plane, in an airport, and then in a hotel out in the middle of the freaking woods, a cabin in the middle of the woods. And then also when we got back, it, we, we finished it off on freak nights, like and we did multiple freak nights on that. Sometime we did just kill nights where we just work all night to create this thing. And it's the most ridiculous and it's constantly evolving and growing now. It's a massive fitness program. There's a, a whole separate version of it for, for men, for women, and for kids. It's ridiculous. And it literally is the last workout program you ever need. And if you, listen, if you want information on that, just send me a message. It's the Infinite Freak Fitness Formula. It's an, an online fitness training program for men and women who do workouts by themselves and maybe have become bored or confused or not getting results that they want, where you literally become your own personal trainer so that you can stay in the best shape all year round with the last workout program you ever need. And we created that during this freak flow kill time. Uh, we've, we've, think about, we've cleaned out our garages, let's say. That's a freak flow moment where you're just in the flow and you're moving and cleaning. You ever get to that moment where you're just organizing shit or we rearranged this whole office. That was a freak flow. Tyson and I, we built this desk together. He did most of that. We rearranged things, fixed everything up, set it up how we needed this whole, all the workstations to be in the new office set up. That was freak flow. Rearranging a gym, setting up or creating the gym, setting up a gym. All those are outcomes of, of freak flow state. We've created businesses, created sales funnels and complete programs like the IFFF and multiple others happen during this freak flow state that we're talking about. So what does freak flow and ideal lifestyle look like in the big picture? Overall, it means doing shit with people that you want to do work with or operate with. Basically doing shit with people that you like, people that you love, the important people to you. Doing what you like to do with the people that you like to do it with where you're making a difference and making an impact and making money while you can do it and making good money while you're doing it with time, freedom for the other things that you want to do to be able to take care of yourself and the other passions you have and living your ideal life. Like that's what it's about. Doing what you love to do with the people you like to do it with where you're making a freaking impact, getting paid a shitload to do it or just even getting paid to do it all with time for all the other stuff you want to do in your personal life, that is living your ideal life. The freak flow allows you to live your ideal freak freedom lifestyle. Now, how do you remain in freak flow once you kind of get there? You can't be there full freak flow all the time, but how do you kind of always be flowing through life and not get knocked too far off, off target? Is you focus on the shit you have control over, which is really just your own thoughts, your effort, your attitude, your positivity, it, that's all part of freak flow. That's all part in that, in those built into those P's, but just focus on the shit you have control over and the passion part, loving what you're doing and attack each day with fucking fire and energy and enthusiasm. If you bring the fucking fire every second of every second, we say, 
But while also while you're dreaming big and thinking big and ignoring the bullshit and the haters and the naysayers, while you're just relentlessly attacking and never giving up on those big dreams you set, the big, bold, hairy goals that you have and never giving up on them no matter who is in your way or what stands in your way, and you have faith over the bullshit fear and the bullshit stories you tell yourself in the head that you know that you are capable of getting to that stage. That is how you may remain in that freak flow from a bigger picture outside kind of mindset frame. So I know we went over a lot here, a ton here. You're gonna probably need to re-listen to this, take notes. And a lot of what we talked about probably has been referenced in at least 10 or 12 previous episodes because each one of these things we talked about today could be an entire episode on its own. So make sure you watch some of those previous episodes, re-watch this, replay this, take some notes. I wanna hear How do you get into freak flow state? And what are some things you've created in the freak flow state? Put them down below in the comments. And these are the kind of things that we constantly work on in the Freak Father Alliance, which is a men's mentorship group coaching program for for basically for men who have work-life imbalances or lacking a purpose and a higher calling as a man and are looking to start living this kind of life that they were created to live. Creating your own ideal life lifestyle of freedom and fulfillment. And that gets done with this freak flow and without having to continue delay or having to sacrifice your your family or neglect your family in the process. That's what this is all about. The Freak Father Alliance, where I'm just really helping Fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning so they can attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle with time, freedom for their families. And this gets done by knowing how to get into and remain in and initiate your freak flow. Follow that framework, follow the eight P's, put the comments down below. I want to hear what you do when you're in freak flow state. How do you get into freak flow state? What have you created in your freak flow state? Let me know down the comments down below. And in case no one told you yet today, You are freaking awesome. No excuses.